I'm Miss Cat. Whoa. Hi, I'm Miss Maxine. Hi, I'm Miss Betsy. <laughs> Welcome to the garden! Hi friends, it's Miss Maxine and I'm here in the school garden. Today, we are going to talk about ecosystems and food chains. Raise the roof if you've heard either of those terms before, ecosystems or food chains. What do those words mean? An ecosystem is made up of all living and non-living things in an area. This can include the plants, animals, water, rocks, the sun, the soil, you name it, everything. All food chains start with the sun. Energy from the sun is transferred to plants. Energy from those plants are transferred to animals that eat them. Energy from those animals are transferred to bigger animals. And when these animals and when the plants die, their energy is given back to the soil. And the whole thing starts all over again. So think about where milk comes from. And let's start from the beginning. The sun gives energy to grow grass. Grass is eaten by cows. Cows produce the milk and humans drink the milk. Once everything is done, it goes back to the soil. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's break it down a little bit more. There are three categories of living things based on how they get their energy. They are producers, consumers, and decomposers. Give me a head bob if you've heard those terms before. A producer is an organism that uses energy from the sun to produce its own food. This can include things like flowers and lettuce and trees. A consumer is an organism that gets its energy from eating other living things such as plants and animals. There are three types of consumers. An herbivore is a consumer that only eats plants, like a cow. Show me your best cow chewing face. A carnivore is a consumer that only eats the meat of other animals, like wolves. And an omnivore is a consumer that eats both plants and animals, like humans. The third category of living things are decomposers. Decomposers get their energy from eating dead and decaying material. Things like fallen leaves, rotting tomatoes, dead animals, and more. Examples of decomposers are things like worms, pill bugs, and termites. Did you know that mushrooms are also a type of decomposer? So, let's get back to our milk example. The grass uses energy from the sun and the soil to produce its own food, which means that the grass is a producer. The cow gets their energy from consuming the grass. So that means that the cow is what? That's right, a consumer, specifically an herbivore. Humans get energy from drinking the cow's milk, which means that it's also a consumer, an omnivore to be exact. The cow's manure is given back to the soil for worms to break down, which means that worms are decomposers. This provides energy and nutrients for future plants to grow. I have a garden challenge for you. Look out your window or go outside to observe a plant or animal. What do you think their food chain looks like? Are they a part of a larger food web or ecosystem? Are they a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer? I hope you learned a little bit more about ecosystems and food chains today. Good luck with your garden challenge and I'll see you next time.